In my previous video, I reviewed the Mistel Barocco, which was an interesting split ergonomic 60% mechanical keyboard. And when reviewing it, I learned how simple the actual case design was, which is always awesome for modding. And I've always had the idea of a portal themed keyboard, and this was the perfect opportunity to just do a real simple paint job, and the keyboard itself will do the rest. So first is the disassembly. This is one of the easiest keyboards to fully disassemble since it just uses a couple of Phillips head screws and a simple lip and groove design so there's no need for prying clips or tabs. The flip up feet can also be easily yanked out as we're just painting the bottom. And as we can see, it's gonna be really easy to paint with all these flat surfaces and there's no real hard to reach places. To prepare the surface, I'll scuff it up a bit with some wet and dry sandpaper and this just helps the paint adhere better to the surface. So it's just a light sand, so I'm not changing the shape or form at all. Next up is to prime it. I'm using surface primer and this will just help fill up those scratches and again help the paint stick better for better durability. And this is done a few times with sanding in between to get a nice smooth and clean surface. Now to the paint. It's just going to be a real simple concept as you probably saw in the thumbnail with the iconic portal blue and orange and basically the keycaps in the middle will complement the colours like seen on the game cover. I didn't pick out any specific colours for this so I just have these colours already and they're not properly colour matched to the game art. And painting is pretty much just the same process as the priming so I just spray then sand any mishaps and repeat until it's all good. And I also did apply a couple coats of clear top coat for protection and let it dry overnight before putting it back together. Putting it back together is just as simple as taking it apart, but the scariest part are squeezing the flip up feet back in, but I managed to do just fine. One thing that I'm really disappointed with though is that I lost the chrome Mistel logo, but at least we can still see the logo, it's just a bit more stealthy now. And here it is, and first of all I do admit that it's a really simple mod, and I really didn't do much at all to make it portal themed keeping it super simple, but the keyboard does do it all. First of all, being split, it makes for a really clear color separation, and they're also very nearly ring designs. And then to add to that, the keycaps are already white, which is another prevalent color in the game, but it's also how it is on the game cover. But looking closer, I'm quite happy with the overall paint job. It's got a slight texture to it, but it's very even and has a satin finish to it. There are a few spots though that are messed up like here where the tape wasn't on properly and it makes the white really really clear. And since I did tape up the inside edge of the shell to make it fit perfectly, it was left white. And we can also see that the enclosure doesn't completely close around the middle areas because there's only 4 screws around the corners. The absolute biggest disadvantage though, which I can't believe I didn't realise until I was actually priming, is that by painting it, obviously the paint will add a maybe a mill on top and since the two sides are held together with a loose friction fit rather than magnets or uh, other mechanical connections, it just doesn't fit anymore. Rather, I don't want to try it, especially after only letting it sit for a couple of hours to dry. So maybe I should have left the inside edges unpainted, but then it would look a little bit weird but the good thing though is that the paint can always be removed, so that's always an option. So I hope you enjoyed the really quick video, and if you want to know more about the keyboard, then I cover everything else in my other video. But yeah, I'm happy with how it looks, making the keyboard stand out even more than it already did.